What's going on YouTube? Jelani from JelaniTheMarketer.com here, back again with another video. And in this video, I'm going to show you what a lookalike audience is uh, by actually creating one with you. And I'm going to talk about it and explain what that can do for your business as you're growing it. But before I talk about lookalike audiences, definitely subscribe if you're new to the channel. And if you have any comments or suggestions, leave those down below as you're watching the video. I always like to interact with you guys and comments are always welcomed here. So let's actually just get right into it. So a lookalike audience is basically how Facebook can give your uh, ads um, a new a new perspective, if you will. And what I mean by that is as you run ads on Facebook, Facebook is collecting data on the different people that um, your ad may have come in contact with. So people that have liked it, people that have shared it, people that have commented it and, and tagged different people on it, uh, Facebook is collecting that data. And as you increase the budgets on your ads, on your page engagement ads, or on your conversion ads, whatever the case may be in the ad format or the category, um, as you're increasing that budget, you're getting more data and more people that are interacting with it, clicking the links, doing all those different things, Facebook is collecting that data. And what we're able to do with that data is tell Facebook, hey, make an audience of people um, that have the same characteristics of the people that may have done a certain action. So people that have maybe clicked the link or landed on a certain page or uh, engaged with um, our video or engaged with our post and like things and share things, right? Make an audience of people that will do similar things just like that. So that is how a lot of people, a lot of big brands, a lot of um, entrepreneurs scale different ads because they're able to create lookalike audiences um, based off the people that they collected data on. This is really a powerful concept and it is a little bit, not scary, but a little bit weird that Facebook collects all this data and then they're able to kind of, you know, get a lookalike audience of 10 million people that are, you know, are similar and they have similar interests and they have a similar um, engagement style. So it's, it's really cool. So I'm going to show you how to do that right now. So all you need to do is you need to go to your business.facebook.com account. Make sure that you have a business account. If you haven't watched uh, my Facebook ads, uh, video definitely go search my channel. I'm gonna post a link down below as well So you can go watch that video, but essentially you just want to make sure you have an account set up Once you have your account set up, you just want to go to your ads manager go to all tools and Then under assets go to audiences. Okay, and what we're gonna do is We're going to first wait until this page loads <laughs> um, But we're gonna be able to create a lookalike audiences from this particular area. All right. So now that we're here, all we have to do, um, you see I have a lot of different audiences here. Um, all we have to do is click on create audience and then click on look like audience. I have a video on custom audiences. So if you want to watch that, definitely check that out. Um, but let's go to look like audience and we're going to say the source. Okay. So you're going to, you got to select a source. So, um, So there's value-based sources, and then there's also um, other sources. So you can check out uh, different custom audiences, people who like your page, etc. cetera. Um, what I like to do is on my custom audiences that I have created. So for example, if I, let's see. Um, so for example, Let's say that I have this group of people who viewed my free ebook page, but not my thank you page. So this is a custom audience of those people. Um, so let's say that I wanted more people who viewed my page, similar people that viewed the page, uh, but didn't opt in. I can create a lookalike audience based on that. Um, so I highly recommend creating different custom audiences. So I have a, I have a bunch here. Um, this is a different uh, pixel. So this doesn't have all look at my e-commerce ones, but okay. So let's see, let's do that one. And then you can say, I want people from United States. And what I recommend doing is setting these up. So you have one for United States, one for um, Canada, one for Australia. Obviously you can, you can compound them and put them on top of each other. But it just it just gives you more concrete data like for look like audiences based on the country. Um, then what you can do is you can have the audience size. So um, a look like audience one, uh, one percent. The one stands for one percent, two, two percent, etc. Um, it's going to pull two point one million people in. Okay, so one percent is the closest match. Okay, so as you go to ten million, for example, 
um, it's going to not be as close. So it's not going to find people that are as similar. Whereas 1%, it's going to um, be really close. So if you click on show advanced options, you can have different uh, lookalike audiences. It will create different lookalike audiences based off of the, the metrics that you, that you select. So this can be a 1% lookalike audience, right? And then this one will be a one to two percent lookalike audience, and then this one would be two to four percent lookalike audience. And you can see here it says US one percent, US one percent to two percent, and then lookalike uh lookalike audience number three is US two percent to four percent. And then also you can up here you can change the number of audiences that you want to create. So if I want to create one, two, one, two, three, four, five percent, so I can do all of these at once, um, and it goes up to six. So that's how you would, you know, separate them by country. So then once you create audience, what it's going to do is it's going to find people that are similar um, for visited my thank you live training uh, thank you page, meaning they, they signed up for my webinar, okay? So it's going to say, okay, I want to find a match of people in the 1% uh, tier that is closely related to the, these people that have done this specific action. Okay, so they have to have done the visited live training. It's gonna find people that are similar to do that same thing. So similar to opt in, similar to visit the thank you page, and hopefully similar to watch the webinar that I would be hosting. So as obviously this is, I'm not gonna run um, ads to these audiences, but you get the idea. So you can now make another one for Canada, for example, then make another one for Australia. And then you have, you know, some segmented data for based, based off of um, countries. And then also you can break down the, those ads later down the line and say, you know, which age group is, you know, performing the best. And then you can really uh, do it that way. You can also do it by um, mobile device, etc. So you can really break down your ads and which is something I highly recommend doing is always breaking down your ads. So you can see like what's working, what's not working, and then remove the things that's not working, increase the things that are working, and then scale that way. Uh, but lookalike audiences are probably the number one way you want to scale when it comes to Facebook ads. So as you get data, just create those custom audiences, make sure that you have custom audiences set up. Um, so that, you, you know, once your pixels on your site, though, it, it should be tracking the data. But the, uh, the, I, I find that, you know, when you create those custom audiences earlier on, you just get it out the way it's populating, it's calculating, it's updating as people are running through the, the funnel or the website. And then you could come in here, create your lookalike audience based on that specific custom audience, and then boom, right? So if you, like I said, if you haven't watched my custom audience video, um, definitely go check that out because I do show you how to create custom audiences. But this is really, really powerful stuff. So I want to make a quick video showing you how people scale using lookalike audiences and what lookalike audiences are. So hopefully this video kind of gave you a rundown of that, if that makes sense. Um, and if it didn't, just let me know down below so then I can answer those questions and maybe clarify some things. But it is really, really cool. It's really, really powerful. And the more data you get, the pow more powerful that they become. So definitely use those wisely. All right, guys. So thank you guys so much for uh, watching. If you haven't subscribed, definitely subscribe and hit that alert button. And like I said, if you have any comments or suggestions, leave those down below. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.